Uh, my name is Frank Smith. My name is Kyra Carlin. I originally uh, was born in Joliet and then ended up in Charleston, Illinois. I grew up in a very small town. We had uh, around 3,000 people, one stoplight and one four-way stop. It was where everybody knew everybody and what you were doing before you knew you were doing it. I think Neobis probably got a thing around, I'd say probably close to 4,000. And Toledo, I'd say he's probably got close to about maybe 2,400 or something. I finally retired there and then I got and went out and bought uh, six duplexes and we built uh, in Toledo, Illinois. Then we built duplexes in Yoga, which is another small town. I'm a Beachbody coach. Beachbody is an online community where you have daily accountability, check-ins for your workouts, um, your meal plans, your food guides, and just having that moral support to keep you on track for a healthy lifestyle. Well, uh, first of all, we mow it. You know, we mow, we mow all the thing and trim it. And then if there's a problem with uh, something to do with the inside, let's say a washing machine quit, or, you know, we'd have that fixed or get them another one. But it's just mostly small little maintenance enough to keep me busy, you know, for my retirement. I think definitely because you only have so many people you can sell to when you don't have your market being bigger. If you're just depending on your small town to bring your business in for six figures, you're mistakenly wrong. You have to be able to reach out more than just your comfort zone. And growing up in a small town, it's very much a comfort zone. You know everybody, everybody knows you. If they tell you no, it doesn't hurt your feelings near as bad as when you ask a complete stranger. And that's what you have to do in this business. Uh, I like the small towns because everybody gets to know everybody. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, when it comes to trouble, then somebody, uh, you know, usually helps, you know, the word passes around, they help one another, stuff like that. The crime is not as bad, you know, or anything it's like the bigger cities and stuff that you read or hear about. Yeah, I think that is a huge factor. And um, I think in a city, you're just expected to be successful. In a small town, they hope you are. Um, and that's really hard to take in because you can give yourself, well, I'm just so-and-so from a town of 3,000 people. What kind of a difference am I going to make? Oh, just like this last weekend, I had a sale, you know, garage sale for a whole town. And uh, of course you go around and, and uh, most of the women do the shopping, the men just stand around and talk, you know. But everybody knows everybody. I think it's because they, you know, if you ask around or something, you can pretty well get it. Tell you where to go, what to do, or how to get it, and everything else. Everything's so open in the little town. You know, in a bigger town, it seems like to me it's, oh, well, rush. A lot of, you know, and this is laid back, a little town, just laid back, you know, and people sitting on the porch, people walk by, and then you holler at, you talk to them, and this, that, and the other. And, and the biggest cities and stuff like that, it's, uh, it's just a rush. Uh, but it's just the friendliness of it, and you know, everybody's pretty tight. 